after harvesting our farmers always believe that the yield this time is very much less there is also a truth in this from a recent time we see a fall in the farmers yield there are very many reasons for this but the main reason is our lethargy and inattentive way of treating the earth using the straw once again to the field is one of the inexpensive ways of treating the earth this straw has various other advantages other than its fertility value we will now see what usages it has and how we can use straw in the fields a straw trial was done here by bombuela research center i saw a number of big changes in that i too though that i should do a trial this time and i put straw on this plot having done that i used only chemical manure in equal quantities for both plots from the nursery stage no insect attack was experienced in this plot never did any virus act attack etc come on the plant the paddy plants grew beautifully from the beginning i notice a big changes on this side now i clearly observe that the plot which no straw was applied has not even come to booting stage but this has come when straw is applied to paddy field it's not only improve the fertility but also some other conditions of the soil the efficiency of fertilizer absorption is increased now especially in this zone rainfall is high and most of the manure which we apply to the soil is liable to get washed away when this straw is added to the earth it has a good hold on the other chemical fertilizers now this shows the result of that the manure is tightly held and will not be washed away researchers have clearly discovered that when straw is used the disease incidence is very very low straw can act as a supply of potassium and silicon it could be that either both potassium and silicon or silicon give the plant the ability to resist pest and diseases the biggest problem of producing seed paddy in the low country wet zone is the seed spotting disease it has been found that this seed spotting disease could be totally avoided by using straw We discuss about straw as organic matter. In addition, we can discuss about straw in terms of nutrient components. Major portion of straw contains potassium. The potassium content varies from 1.5% to 2.5%. If all the straw obtained in a season is used in paddy cultivation, no potassium manure is needed. Other than this, straw contains nitrogen. Normally it has 0.6% to 0.7% of nitrogen when takes into consideration the amount of straw and its nitrogen content the quantity of the recommended nitrogen fertilizer can be reduced by 1/3 or half the straw also contains a big quantity of silicon straw contains normally 6.5% of silicon when two plots of rice one to which straw was incorporated and the other without straw it was observed that the later plot was in a poor condition exhibiting symptoms of potassium deficiency and in spots even nitrogen deficiency
This gives us a good message that straw or organic matter enriches the soil for a longer period. Now we will see the method of applying straw to a paddy field. After removing the harvest, the straw that is left over should be allowed to decay on the threshing floor itself. Thereafter, when the first tilling is over, the straw can be thinly spread over the field and flood it to a hasten the decay. This spreading has to be done actually to cover the entire extent of the field with the entire lot of straw. We can also introduce it by another method. After the harvest, we can deposit the straw left over in heaps at intervals in the field. And with the first tilling, these heaps can be thinly spread having flooded the field. Subsidizing on fertilizer helps the farmer to reduce his expenses on fertilizer. Using straw to the field also helps the farmer to reduce his expenditure on fertilizer. In short, using straw means the farmer has received the subsidy for fertilizer.